The highlights you are about to see of the Easton Bandits' participation in the second annual National Adult Baseball Association's National Tournament in Phoenix, Arizona are true. The names were not changed no matter how badly they screwed up. From October 25th through the 30th of 1993, the second largest amateur baseball tournament in the world, the National Adult Baseball Association National Tournament, took place in Phoenix, Arizona. It played host to 39 teams from 24 cities covering 17 states. One of these teams from San Diego, California, the Easton Bandits playing in the 30 and over division. A team of 16 formerly young men willing to leave their family and friends for an entire week of baseball in the Arizona desert. How did they do? Well, we'll find out as we check out the highlights and other activities from Phoenix. But first of all, we all know that organization is the first true key to success. So now we take you behind the scenes to the all-important pre-tournament meeting. Tracy, 32. Oh, wait, 13. Ritter, 4. No. You're lefty, man. 13. Still, I just still changed. trying. <laughs> Uh-oh, no. That's Scott no, Almas. No, no. Who's 13? That's Rich. 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 Is it fit you? Yes. It's a little bigger. Quite a lot of lefty, lefty. Ryan, 25. Yeah. Carlos, 23. Paul, 7. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> we got Dan to give one to and Joey. You hear it now. Every time you do that twice, somebody. Yeah, but I'm gonna give my regular signs. I don't think they'll be actually looking for that though. No, but I. I, I, love it. Shit. I love it. No, but you give the regular signs. No, you go, you're gonna go hack this. You know got. what? That's a good point. You 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 do that first. Yeah, yeah. You do that first. Doing that. And then you go through your signs, and then you just walk away and clap. You know, like this. That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's what I say. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Just do your thing. Then go through your signs and just. As you're walking away, turn your ass, you know. That's clap right out. If I give, I, if I'm not going to... If you don't clap at all, on. if you don't clap at all, nothing's going on. Yeah, if I, let's say I'm not going to call a sign. Come on, baby. Well, you're yeah, 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 yeah. Without the hitting away. Well, now that we've figured out what number everybody's wearing and we have a general idea of what the signs are, let's get started with the tournament. Game number one was at Sun City Stadium against the West LA A's on Monday at 12 noon. Sun City Stadium was the former spring home of the Milwaukee Brewers, but now was home of the Sun City Solar Sox of the Arizona Fall League. It was a beautiful field, but then again, all of the fields we played on in the Phoenix area were beautiful. As we walked in, there was one thing we were confident of, and that was that Tracy Johnson would be our starting pitcher. Why? because his mom was sitting in the stands, of course, and uh, we'll hear from her later. After a shaky first inning where we gave up five runs, we got down to the business of hitting the baseball. Tracy pitched a great game, especially when we started playing some defense behind him.
When it was all said and done, we came out feeling pretty good with a 22-6 victory. And now, boys and girls, gather round for story time with Tracy Johnson's mom. I'm dressed to go to a, a masquerade party, and uh, they, we got Tracy to... Uh, so how did we do that? We got him to go upstairs, I guess. And when he went upstairs, his dad went outside. He was, his dad was dressed like an old woman. And uh, so he rang the doorbell. And when Tracy got down, my, uh, Tracy went to the door. He didn't recognize him. And, and his dad came in. Tracy was about four, five years old. Dad came in and got him to come and sit on his lap and told him, uh, her name was Mrs. I don't remember what it was. Tracy looked, and uh, his dad said, "We're just new here in the neighborhood, and uh, where do you go to school?" Tracy said, "Over here to to Barker School." He must have been no, he hadn't started school yet. He told who where his brother went to school. That's what he was doing. So. <laughs> He said, so his dad said, I have a little boy about your age. And Tracy said, oh, what's his name? And his dad said, his name is, by that time his dad was so frustrated because he could see Tracy was swallowing it. Oh, light and, oh, <laughs> and the first thing came to his mind, he said, Fairchild, his name is Fairchild. And Tracy said, oh. And by that time, the rest of us were getting giggly and worried. <laughs> and finally, Stan, uh, I guess he took his took his uh, mask off or his wig off or something, and, and Tracy recognized him. He just was floored. He just turned white as a sheep. <laughs> Oh. Stan really did fool him. Yeah. That's not too good a story, but that's all I can think of right now. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed story time with Tracy Johnson's mom. And now, let's get to know the guys better. It's time for Let's Meet the Players. I'm Mike Contour, and I'm the uh, circus leader of all this. I pitch sometimes, sit on the bench a lot of the time, hit ground balls, take the butt of all the jokes. But damn glad to have you guys here. We're going to do it. going to do it. Mike Ryan. My nickname is Rhino. Number 25. Rooming with Bobby and Mike, and out here to kick some butt. We're going to do it. Well, my name is Hud Freeze. I'm uh, one of the pitchers on the team. I'm number 10. And the reason I say uh, I'm only a pitcher is because that's the only thing they let me do. But I do have two claims to fame. One is my pink batting glove. If you see that come out anytime during the game, you know we're in really deep trouble. The other claim, Tiger Balm. Tiger Balm is the traditional salve to make this team go. And it's part of the initiation to really use this. So if we can get the tiger bomb, that's good. That'll make it move. If we get the pink glove, that's not a good sign. So we're here to have some fun, just like we've done the last couple of years, and I think we're going to do it. Take it easy. I'm Peter Valentine, number 15. What I want to see is Ritter play outfield in his boots. That will make my series. And to have some fun with the rest of the boys. See you there. Hi, Mike Goodsell, the number one player of the team. Uh, pitcher first, second, third, short, fourth, fifth, left field, outfield, center field, and Grover. Play them all. Uh, I'm looking forward to catching one ball and then the next one and hitting a few balls. Jamie Hendrickson, Lejemo, number nine. First base, pitcher. Mark Leeson, I'm number. 12 today, different number every time, playing center field and uh, also uh, probably doing some pitching. We'll see how the old right arm feels here. Uh, but it should be a fun time. We're all looking forward to it. Hopefully we're not too overconfident and we'll end up playing on Friday and Saturday also. So let's go get them. Dave Brown, number three, downtown, doctor, whatever. First base, outfield, any place they'll put me. Looking forward to a great week. 
Hopefully we'll go get them starting right now. Paul, <laughs> PMS. Uh, first game going here, and uh, we're going to have to show them big time, big time. We're leaving the yard. We're leaving the yard many yeah. times today, boys. See ya. I'm Tracy Johnson, 32, I'm a pitcher, and uh, just call me Bonehead. <laughs> We'll get to know more of the guys a little bit later on. And once again, we enjoy another episode of Let's Meet the Players. On the way home from Sun City, we stopped by a little eatery called Hooters. I'll have two of everything, please. Two of everything. Two of everything. Did I say two? I think Jamie was uh, trying to figure out why they call it Hooters. I don't see any owls anywhere. And either does Duke. Coach Contour was forced to have his picture taken with the hired help. When you're in the Wild West, a gun will travel reap the card of a man. Caught red handed, so to speak. A knife without armor in a savage land. They must be emptying out their guns. All right, now it's off to the karaoke bar. Leading it off, Mr. Hud Freeze. Next up on the karaoke machine, Mr. Dave Brown. It's amazing if you listen real close so you can almost hear the guess who. Time to get back down to business. Our second game of the tournament took place the next day at 12 noon at the Tepe Diablo Complex, field number two against the Phoenix 30s. Our goal, of course, to be playing on Saturday in the championship game in Tempe Diablo Stadium. This field, although not the stadium, was still in beautiful shape, as were all the fields over in Phoenix. Our starting pitcher for the day, Jamie Hendrickson, did the job as we tried to get the bats going. Although not hitting like the day before, we hit enough and pitched enough to come out on top. Nine to five was the final score, running our record to two and oh. Duke, uh, catcher, and we're 24 while I'm out here. Looks like it's going to be a good time. I've already seen a couple things early on. We'll talk about it later. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I guess we'll talk to you one more time later on. Thank you, bye. Name's Joel Lefty Hendrickson, number six. Thought I was pitching today. Flew in here on a Learjet. I made it, barely, and uh, I'm playing right field today, pitching tomorrow. Hi, I'm Dan, I'm number five. 
I play Art. just about any position I'm except I don't pitch. Bees, but that's not my thing. Bees. And I'm having a great time here. Weather's beautiful. People are wonderful. Business is booming. Life's great. Bob Hagerstrom, uh, 30, number 11. Um, position that play third and pitch. Really enjoying it. So far, we're 2-0. Looking forward to continuing on playing the playoffs. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our first manager's report with our chief, Mike Contour. What you've just seen is the sight of the Eastern Bandits having a good time because they are 2-0. Oh. One so-so game, one very good game. I'm playing them tough, I'm playing them tough. I drive them hard, I want perfection. And so far they're coming through. Hey, hey, come here. Now here's the starting pitcher for the game. Mr. Freeze, he's already thrown about four or five innings in the dugout. Sing a few songs for us, but he's... Ready to go, ready fun. to go. Hey, Ryan Dog, over here. Here's the rookie, Mike Ryan, star last game. We were only hit by two, and he waited on that pitch and drove it out of there. Line drive. Coach told me, wait on it. Wait on it. See? And See? Coach knows what he's doing. Paul over here. Paul, over here. Come on, go. Paul's second door is roping the ball, stealing two bases for us. Sit out, sit on the bench last game. Was a good sport about it. Good. But he's roping the ball. Starting the left today. That's my job. Bob, over here, Bob. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Get the Haggard. Jingle. Oh, no. Bob Hagerstrom, the, the guy jingle. I'm counting on to be the boat anchor, lifted his skirt yesterday and let the, let the first ball right under the skirt. <laughs> Started the four run, five, five run runs. Five run rally. Yeah. Five run rally in the top of the first. Right. Got, got me scared. I was, Pete was blowing steam out of his ears. But, uh, what ha what happened? but then, then he settled down, got some hits, drove in the first run. Four runs. Four runs. Four RBIs? What was it? Hell, I don't know. Yeah. Playing good. Pete, yeah. hey, over here. Hey, Peter. I got a drink first. Hang on, nah, get over no, here. No, no, no. All right, Duke, get over here. Pete's picking his ass. Oh, excuse me, rear. So, is that part going to hey. be edited for uh, no. the family version? Or he says we paid ten more dollars yeah. for hey. some drinks. Hey, hey, drinks. Mike? Duke, rookie on the team. Holding us down behind the plate. <laughs> Switch hitter driving in the runs. No complaints. Looks for the signs when he's at the plate. <laughs> That's always important in a ball player. <laughs> well, we'll give you another report after the end of this game. Everybody else is out having fun. Our second game of the day, our third game overall, took us to Phoenix Municipal Stadium where we played the East Side Pirates from Seattle, Washington. Phoenix Municipal Stadium, the spring home of the Oakland Athletics, and of course, another beautiful field. Hut Freeze started on the mound, and uh, let's just say we made some mistakes on defense. And we made some mistakes on the bases. But we didn't make any mistakes at the plate. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
We all did the job when we were at the plate. And Hud Freeze did the job when the Pirates were at the plate, giving us seven strong innings. And even Gleason came in for a little bit of exercise at the end. Final results of game number three, a victory for the Bandits. 15 to nine, running the record to three and oh. We move now to the third day of the tournament. It's game number four at Sun City Stadium against Hoffman's Las Vegas All-Stars at 8.30 in the morning. You know you've hit the big time, ladies and gentlemen, when, yes, the dugout comes equipped with a bathroom. It was Duke's birthday, but obviously the other team didn't know that or they wouldn't have turned this double play on him. But the Bats did eventually get going once again. Joey Henderson pitched six strong innings, and then Peter Ballantyne came in to work the last three. Once again, we got great hitting and great pitching, winning 10-2, running our record to 4-0. Our second game of the day, game number five overall, took place once again at the Tempe Diablo Complex, field number two, as we took on the California Rock Sox. Coach Contour penciled himself in as the starting pitcher, and he did the job. And then it came our turn to hit, and hit we did. laid on a silver platter. <laughs> and then he hits it. Let's see if he can get this one. Oh, man. Oh, he got robbed. Swing wherever it is. Swing it. Mike, the champ 
good stuff. Stud from way back. Oh, looks at a pitch. Oh, you know, you know, Jake. This guy good sell. He's always always nonchalant up there. <laughs> Never looks like he's too serious. We got we got Duke Lime on color uh, color commentary this afternoon. Dave Brown with the play-by-play. -play. And we were watching the exciting action here at uh, Tempe Diablo Annex Number Two. Today's game is brought to you by Miller Lite, the beer you can have when you've had too many. <laughs> That's too good. That was censored, folks. <laughs> good to look at another bit. You coming back? <laughs> I tried to stop him. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I bet you did. I forgot your name though, just as he was getting ready to do it. <laughs> that felt good, actually. It's a hot day. Oh, and there's a long drive into shallow center field. How long are driving there? All right, guys. Yeah, he picked it up this time. In the short, and Mike Goodsell is in with a stand-up single. There he is, folks. Look at that. Look at that dry smile on that you man. Know. Just you know, <laughs> you know, he really has quick hands. Who Goodsell? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's really what his wife tells me. <laughs> Hi, Colette. Colleen. Sorry. One or the other. That's what depends on which week you talk about. <laughs> We got Joey Henriksen batting right-handed today. And there is the wind-up. And the and there. <laughs> There's dirt for ball one. <laughs> Remember, today's game is brought to you also by Farmer John. <laughs> Farmer John Beef Park Franks. They really plump when you cook them. There you go. The Miller Lite player of the game today. Oh! There's another line another shot hit. up the middle. Here comes Big Petey around in third. God, look He's at that got a little wheels man. going. Another hit. A big smile on Joey Henriksen. Ah. Yeah, where is Mr. Goodsell? Yep. Yeah. That's my name. There he is. There he is. Standing on second base. To you last, we were what were we? We were 2 0, 2 0, right? Well, we won last night big time in that swirling dust storm. We won this morning, good game over the Hoffman Stars to make us 4 0. And we're playing a tough game against these guys. Uh, let you know at the end of that one how this one comes out. But, Steph, keep bullshitting you big time. We are killing these guys. No, they're killing themselves. Anyway, Ryan, in diving in for third, ripped his leg apart. Good move, Ryan Dog. I don't know, we're still bashing the ball. Hendrickson, Joey, over here. Joey was a young stud this morning through, how many good in seven? Six innings. Six innings, had him baffled. Thanks, he's, Ted. He's hitting this game. Thanks, Ted. Coming back on Saturday. Okay. All right, back to the game. Okay. Another one. 